my Thursday and Friday scramble here was to pick up this motor from my buddy at Collis Truck Parts from a 04 Express van, which graciously gave its life so we will remember it. And we picked up the motor in the Tacoma and I brought it home and started to tear it down and the oil was very milky and sludgy and everything else. So we took it all apart and looked for crack heads and everything and couldn't find it. And we basically summarized that some water must have gotten in the motor at the junkyard, obviously, and made all the oil like pancake mix. So then Saturday, all I needed to do really was get my torque converter fixed, which you can see the hole. I had to drill in it to get it together because all of the stupid bolt holes stripped out. So once we fixed that, my buddy just machined it out and welded some metal rings in there so I could just put nuts and bolts through into the flywheel like a regular small block style tabs. Harder to break, easier to replace. Okay, quick update here for the Colorado. This is the new motor. The other motor is junk and in the scrapyard already as a core. This is a 0460 and it's really sludgy. It has a quarter million miles on it. It was in a van. So this is after I, I mean, this literally had an inch of cake on the front and everywhere in here that I have been scraping and spraying off. I sprayed it with degreaser. The, the pistons were literally, I think I took some pictures of it. If not, I was just like, man, I'm scrubbing this thing forever. But uh, this is post cleanup. This is already like mostly clean. <laughs> but you can see, well, I was spraying degreaser like Zep and stuff. And then it, a lot of it wasn't cutting it. I'm like, I'm scraping everything with the razor and, you know, trying to clean everything up. And like, just look at the valve covers. They're like really cakey too. So you'll be impressed with these uh, intake ports. Have like, I tried cleaning these up already a little bit and they have like just cake, just like so much sludge in the intake. It's really thick. You can feel it with your finger. It's like half an inch thick of fucking just cake. Anyway. We'll stop saying cake. That's That piston's pretty clean too. But anyway, I've been spraying it down. And my last resort was I actually put diesel fuel in my sprayer here, like a weed sprayer. And I hosed this thing for like an hour or two with diesel fuel because the oil was very milky. I'll post some pictures in the video in line, you know. The oil was like that yellow milk. So there was definitely water in it. So my buddy works, I got the motor from my friend works at uh, Collis Truck Parts. And I was like, man, this oil, like does this thing have a head gasket issue or something else? And he said, honestly, we sold the hood for like three months ago. So water probably got in the motor, which is a very good explanation because everything else looks fine. The heads aren't cracked. The block ain't cracked. The bores are all very good. So it must've just been water. So just cleaning everything up as I go here. And since I have having persistent ring butting issues, which I normally never have, the other issue is I normally never use six O's. I pulled these two pistons out and the ring gap is super tight. It's like 17 on the one and 20 on the other on the top ring, which is a quarter million miles on it. You would think, you know, everybody says they loosen up and we laugh about it, but holy shit. I mean, 17 and 20 is really tight. That's going to be another issue with pump gas. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up the camera and show you how, you know, you measure ring gap. I don't know if anybody ever really explained it or whatever but i'm going to show how you measure it and then how you open it up so quick update on the motor and everything and i also had a tiny lifter noise that would come and go on my truck so i'm going to put i have like super low mile lifters so i'll be disappointed with myself if i throw all this back together and it has fucking lifter noise so we're going to do that next show ring gap 